All right, you may recognize the name Chris Gardner from the blockbuster movie The Pursuit of Happiness. Actor Will Smith portrayed him in the movie as a struggling homeless single father who found his way to success. Chris has just released a new book. It is called Permission to Dream, based on a day that he spent in Chicago with his granddaughter. And Chris Gardner is here now to tell us all about it. Hello to you. Hello, thank you for having me. Good evening. <laughs> nice to have you. Nice to have you. So I'm reading through this. This must have been quite a day with your granddaughter. Do you want to tell me about it? What happened that day? Oh my God. First of all, thank you all for having me. And secondly, you started off with the wrong subject. Because <laughs> if we're going to be talking about my granddaughter, we're going to be on this tall on this yeah. phone call. For <laughs> <laughs> well, you put her in the book, so we were anxious to know. <laughs> oh my God. This was an one day having a conversation with my granddaughter because we were lost on the wrong side of Chicago in the worst snowstorm in history with no transportation. And she looked up at me and she asked, Papa, what's the difference between a dream and a plan? And Lord, it's right there. I said to myself, what if this was the last conversation that you were ever going to have with your child? What would you want her to know about where we're from, where we are, and where we're going. This was that conversation. It took place four years ago, but so many of the things we shared are applicable, especially in today's environment. So it sounds like there are some striking similarities uh, to your uh, pursuit of happiness, which struck and touched so many people. Would you say that uh, the message in that story is similar to this new one, and that maybe this one is more about renewal? I would say this, sir that permission to dream has probably never been more important in the recent history of this country in light of the politics, polarization, and pandemic that we've all had to endure and suffer through. Permission to dream about going forward, sir, has probably not, never been a better time. And let me say this about time. Of all the things that 2020 taught us, the one thing that is undeniable is none of us knows how much time we've got left mm -hmm. on the clock. So this is the time right now to dare and do and dream big things. That's so true. That's so true. So for people that maybe are watching at home and have had just a very difficult year, not knowing what's next, where they go from here, your book will give them what advice? I know it's permission to dream, but give me something that they can hold on to, something that they should be doing, actively doing, to kind of change the course of their dreams. As we go forward, we must all be mindful that we're going to have to take a lot of baby steps as we go forward. We, a lot of us, we take strides where the path is clear, there's no obstacles, no obstructions, but now we got to be taking baby steps because we can't see the path forward. And I will say this to you, and the words of my dear friend, Dr. Maya Angelou, we must all be mindful that this has been done before. There are people who came before us who came up a steeper side of this mountain, carrying a bigger and heavier load with little to no opportunity, but they kept going forward, onward, and upward. But now it's our turn. You know what, from selling the bone density scanners in San Francisco <laughs> to, uh, you know, bringing the story home to Chicago, we're so uh, glad and delighted to, to, to read about it. So we want to say congratulations and, and thanks for being with us today. No, sir. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. We'll see you in person soon. The next Hope time so. we do this, I'm going to be in your studio. All right. Oh, I want to nice. see that smile. <laughs> thank you, sir. Chris Gardner with us. The book titled thank Permission you. to Dream. You have a great afternoon. See you later. Thank you. Thank you, guys. Okay.